Hello YouTube and welcome to another Windows tutorial. So in this video I'm gonna show you how to enumerate Active Directory with Power View. So are you ready? Let's get started. So first thing first, what is Power View? So actually Power View is a PowerShell script that will allow us to enumerate our Windows Active Directory. Okay. So if you go to Google and you type Power View, you will be actually prompt to this uh, GitHub repository. Okay. So the name of the repo is PowerShell Mafia slash PowerSploit because actually PowerView is a component from PowerSploit. Okay. So as you can see here, it was developed by someone called Will Schroeder. Okay. So you can actually download this file and put it in whatever directory that you want inside your Windows Active Directory domain controller. Okay. So here, as you can see, I am inside my Windows directory or actually domain controller here. So let me show you the domain. So if I go to Active Directory Users and Computer, you can see here that I have a domain created name aminos.local. So it has a couple of computers and also some users. So actually we'll be using actually this PowerShell script called PowerView in order to enumerate the different objects in our Active Directory domain. Okay. So first thing first, you have to go to your uh, command prompt, and here by default, I am inside the administrator directory. Okay. So if I type dire, you can see that I have put it here, the PowerView.ps1, actually PowerShell script. So we'll be using actually this PowerShell script here. Okay. So first thing first, we have to bypass the execution policy of PowerShell. Okay. So what is the execution policy of PowerShell? Is actually a PowerShell features that actually will prevent PowerShell from executing malicious code. But here we are using a PowerShell script, so we have to bypass this execution policy. So in order to fire up PowerShell, we type PowerShell. Then in order to bypass the execution policy, we have to uh, actually uh, make an option EP, okay, then bypass, okay. Here we go. So now as you can see the prompt has changed. We are now in our PowerShell command prompt, okay. Then we have to enable the script our power view script so in order to do that press it this simple you type dot then space then dot then the name of our powershell or power view script okay and you type enter here we go if you get no error you are ready to go so now you can execute all the power view commands okay so first thing first let's start by domain enumeration okay so in order to get some info about our domain we type the command get net domain so here the commands you will see that are pretty intuitive okay so if i hit enter here you can see the forest name and the domain controller also so the name of our domain controller SRVW2019 okay and at the end you can see the domain name which is aminos.local okay so pretty simple command to execute in order to enumerate actually our domain okay there are a lot of commands but here I'm going to show you the most important ones okay you can also get the domain SID so the domain SID is simply the SID or security identifier because as you may know every object 
in Active Directory is actually have a unique SID. So in order to get this ID for our domain controller, we type the command get domain SID. Here we go. So we will get this uh, SID unique number. Okay. So pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Okay. You can also get some information about uh, the domain policy. Okay. So let's type get domain policy here we go so it it will gives us a bunch of information about our domain policy we can get more specific if we type for example dot and for example system access you will get some information about actually uh, our domain policy here I did a mistake here actually I have to put this get domain policy between uh, parentheses here we go but I didn't get anything here Okay. I guess I have to proceed that with the keyword get domain policy. Okay, so now I get the result. So here you get a lot of information about the system access, okay? Okay, I guess now we can also get information about uh, our domain controller. Simply, you can type get net domain controller. Okay. So of course, here you will get information about our domain controller. So the name of this domain controller is SRV dash W. K19 okay and of course here you can get the OS version so here I'm using Windows version or Windows Server 2019 data center okay so I guess now we are done with our domain enumeration let's go now to user enumeration so as always the commands are pretty intuitive in order to get the users in our domain we type the command get net user okay simple as that so if I hit enter I get a bunch of information about the user is in our domain so here you get the common name for example Jenny here as you can see we have also Yasin okay we have another user here okay so if you want to filter this output here we can use the select options in our actually commands so let me show you so I will use the same command but I will pipe it here to the select option and for example I want just to show the common names so I will do CN Okay, so now you can see only the common name for the users in our domain. Okay, so instead of getting all the information that you get when you just type get net user, okay, so you can actually select whatever object that you want. For example, let me see the last logon with the common name, so I can do that so simply I will use our previous command and here we separated the object that we want to show by comma so last logon here we go 
so here you can see every common name with its last logon okay so it's pretty interesting command that you can execute in order to get a bunch of information about your users okay so let's go now to a computer enumeration so in order to get some info about our uh, computers in the domain we type the command get net computer simple as that here we go also as always we have a bunch of information of every computer in our domain okay so here for example we have uh, a windows 7 as you can see here this is the common name also and with, with operating system uh, Windows 7 Professional okay so we can also filter this bunch of information as always so let me show you let's for example just display the common name with the operating system okay so you can get a better view so I will use the select option so I want common names, comma, then the operating system of all the computers in our domain. Here we go. So now you can see that I have five computers in our domain. So we have, of course, the controller or the domain controller. So this is the common name and this is the operating system. Okay. We have also Windows 7, you have user PC, Windows 7 also, Windows 10 Pro, okay? So this is pretty nice command that allows you to enumerate computers in your domain, okay? Another useful command if you want to see the live computers in your domain or the computers that are actually online so you can just type that get net computer and you add here option hyphen ping okay here we go so let's just filter for a common name as always so in order to get fewer info so you can see we have only only our domain controller that is up in our domain okay so it's also a pretty nice uh, command that you can execute okay so I guess that's enough for uh, computer enumeration let's go now to the group enumeration okay so in order to get the groups in your domain you type the command get net group simple as that here we go so we get a bunch of information as always into your system we can also filter but uh, but whatever object or group that we want so let's for example here show just the group name okay So we can do that or the common name if you want let's do that we use as always select then the common name so here you can see that there are the different uh, groups in our domain so we have radius group we have administrator users guest print operators and lot of groups in our domain so here we have actually selected just common name but we can also do the same with other object in our domain active directory door domain okay we can also get all the group that have a keyword for example admin if we do that let's also filter by by the canonical name so you can see 
I get only the groups in our domain that have the keyword admin in it. Okay, so administrator, a Hyper V administrator, storage replica. So it's also a pretty nice command that you can take a look at. Okay. Now, let's say that you want to see, for example, for user in which group it belongs. So here, for example, if I execute the command net users and I filter on just common names, you can see that I have all these users. Let's say that I want, for example, for the username Jenny, I want to see in which group she belongs. We can simply type get net group. Okay, then we add here an option username and we specify our username, which is in this case Jenny. So you can see that Jenny belongs to the domain users. Okay. So I can also filter that using the canonical name or the common name. So you can see that Gini belongs to the domain users. Let's say, for example, our administrator here. Here we go. So of course, the administrator belongs to, the, to many groups enterprise admins, schema admins, domain users, domains admins, and group policy creator owner, okay? So it, it's also a pretty nice comment that is always actually available. So there are a lot of commands. Let's finish, but interesting one. Uh, let's actually start our share enumeration because shares are vulnerabilities in our domain so let's try to in actually to enumerate them so in order to enumerate all shares in our domain we type or we invoke them actually so we type the invoke command then share finder so it really gives us just share in our domain controllers okay so let's wait and by the way i have created here a share called docs in my desktop in my domain controller and let's see if he will get it because this share is not by default there as you will see soon i have created here okay so here we go you can see all the shares that exist in my domain controller here so there are some defaults like syswall, share, net logon, okay? And here you can see the docs share that I have created in my on my desktop, okay? So there are actually a lot of commands that you can execute in order to enumerate Active Directory. You can of course return back to my Git or to the GitHub page in order to see all the commands. For example, get you can also for example get the group policy object in the domain here we go so these are all the group policy objects in the active directory domain so there are a lot of commands so that was just a brief introduction to this uh, very powerful PowerShell script that will help you to enumerate your Active Directory windows, computers or domain actually. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.